And good evening, New Mexico. In about two hours, there's going to be another big change in our state. It's actually a sign we are finding ways to live with COVID. Come midnight, our state public health order will end for good. Over the last three plus years, those guidelines included everything from your mask requirements to how many people could be in a restaurant at one time. Now, Tommy Lopez spoke with people in Albuquerque about the order finally coming to an end after all this time. It really is the finality of a chapter, Tommy. Yeah, it is. And changes coming in April spark a conversation about mask wearing. We started tonight by asking asking people about their strongest memories from the height of the COVID pandemic. Just being kind of like locked in home, asking whether or not like, oh, should I, you know, meet up with friends? Is that cool or not? Is that like ethical? Disheartened watching uh, small businesses get put out of business. Stuck in the house, nothing to do. Uh, I don't know, it seems strange thinking back on it now. The public health order may be ending, but COVID-19 is still here. So are other respiratory viruses like the flu. Many people are still wearing masks to protect themselves and others. I'll wear masks when I travel, like on an airplane, to the doctor's office, of course. When I feel sick is when I wear them. I don't mind wearing masks um, to protect other people. I would hope people would be more selfless and make decisions based on other people's comfort rather than themselves. I didn't mind doing it because that's what we needed to do, but uh, I see no reason to wear masks now. And I think though when we go on a plane we'll probably wear a mask, but otherwise we won't. Hours before the health order was set to end, officials with the largest health systems in New Mexico made a joint announcement. They will not require masks in healthcare settings starting April 16th. I would probably still wear one, especially <laughs> given the fact that everybody's there most likely because they're ill. <laughs> uh I think it's a complicated question. There's certainly a lot to consider for many, including for healthcare workers. Would you still wear one at work? That's a good question. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm more worried about, uh, you know, infecting others than, than my own health. I think it's, it's an individual choice. We all have different vulnerabilities. Tessa, tonight, even health system leaders are saying there are a wide range of opinions on mask wearing. Yeah. Today, we heard from UNMH Chief Medical Officer Dr. Steve McLaughlin. We're asking people to use their best judgment in understanding um, their own risk and the risk to others around them. He says the number of COVID patients is now lower than at any point in the last year at UNMH. It is in the single digits on any given day. Still, UNMH recognizes there is not a consensus on the topic of masks. There are individuals who feel like this change should have been made a long time ago, and there are other individuals that would like to see us wait longer. Dr. McLaughlin there says mask wearing is still supported at UNMA. And there are some similar changes for our schools and courts after today, too. Yeah, there are. The public education department is retiring its COVID-19 response toolkit. Yeah. Those are procedures that have sparked a lot of debate during the pandemic. A spokesperson says schools will now use the manual that covers all communicable diseases. That would include the flu, measles, pink eye, diseases like that. And the state court system has lifted its requirements for masks and social distancing. A spokesperson says people will still be appearing remotely so they don't have to all show up in person. Tessa. Some big changes coming our way, that's yeah. for sure. Tommy, thanks so much.